Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome into episode number two on the Iron Man series. We're coming in guns a-blazing, and by that I mean crawling our ass back to Denulth here. I have felt the impact of those agility levels and the full graceful set. This clip's not a great example of that. Anyway, Death Plateau completed. We've got some quests on the agenda today, so I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Let's go ahead and quick fire some of these out. Goblin Diplomacy completed. I love that this feels like 2007, but I get to experience new things. Queen of Thieves completed. In order to do Depths of Despair, I've got to play Farming Simulator to get 5% Hasidious Favor. So yeah, I'm just getting that out of the way right now. Making some sulfur shit, getting some farming levels. Quest completed. All right, I still don't have Protect from Melee, so I was a little bit nervous going into that boss fight, but we ended up finding a safe spot, not a big deal. Mountain Daughter completed. Slacking so hard on quests in the past really altered or skewed my perspective on what quest bosses are supposed to feel like. I have a feeling that this is gonna take a while, so I'll catch up with you at the end. And that's Grand Tree completed, and you know, some decent XP out of that. I see why people do this at a low level now. What does that bring us up to? Looks like 45 attack. I'm sure I must have done this quest before, but, oh, thieving level 30, pretty cool. I have no memory of Tribal Totem. At one point, I forgot if I was playing Death Stranding or doing the Dig Site quest. Holy shit, that was so much running around. Anyway, that's 35 mining, which allows us to mine sandstone, pretty cool, and 19 herb lore. So pain in the ass, but definitely worth it. Golem quest completed, which gives us 26 crafting. I started killing white knights for a couple iron bars. At, at least that's what I was hoping for. And I had kind of a full circle moment. You know, as a kid, I didn't make money. So I spent a lot of time in free to play worlds. I killed so many white knights that I'm surprised there's any left to this day. I fucked up and I missed recording it, but we did actually complete the Knight's Sword. We're at the tail end of Sleeping Giants here, and I just want to say that the Giant's Foundry seems pretty cool, honestly. Um, maybe it's just because it's totally new to me, but you guys let me know in the comments, was this a good update? I feel like this must have been a good update because mining and smithing are, you know, not necessarily fun skills to train in this game, and this seems... This seems pretty good, honestly. I can't wait to come back here. So that's Sleeping Giants completed, and we do get some smithing levels. It feels so funny to me to be killing a cow in the cow pens of Lumbridge that I'm sneaking this clip in here. Because way back in the day, I met my first ever internet friend, who I still talk to to this day, even though he does not play RuneScape, in the cow pens of Lumbridge. So <laughs> anyway, just wanted to throw that in there. Coming at you as we finish up Elemental Workshop 1. At least I think this is, yep, nice. Perfect, so that one's out of the way and we go ahead and get 30 crafting and 35 smithing. This is the start of something awesome. I actually cannot wait to finish Recipe for Disaster. On my main account, I didn't finish this quest until pretty recently. Things are very different in RuneScape 3. So by the time I finished Recipe for Disaster, Pharaoh's gloves weren't relevant. So it feels good to know that they're gonna be worth something at the end of this. That was a little tedious because I had to run back to the dig site um, to get some charcoal. But yeah, that is the first step towards Barrow's gloves and the first part of Recipe for Disaster completed. I've not done any farming yet, so that's great to see that we got some levels there. Oh my God, we just one shot him. As long as we can follow directions here, we should be able to banish him back to the Shadow Realm. Wow, we just got Silverlight, nothing else. Something about this quest screams that my hardcore status is in serious jeopardy. Um, let's see how this goes. This has gone horribly wrong and <laughs> we're stuck doing what I think the kids call flinching but I don't really have any run energy and fuck me, this is taking so long. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not super attached to my hardcore status, but I really, I really don't want to lose it, man. But I just keep hitting fucking zeros and I really don't know what to do about it. Um, just so I know for future, future um, endeavors. How ugly is this flinching and what can I do to, <laughs> what can I do to improve this? Because man, not only does this feel really bad, but I mean, <laughs> this is taking way too long. Shadow of the Storm completed and I think that actually gets us a bunch of ranged levels here. 
So yeah, 27 ranged and I haven't fired a single arrow. That feels pretty good. I found out the hard way that the furnace in here will take extra coal at no benefit to you. So I had to run out and mine some more coal. But anyway, that's Elemental Workshop 2 completed and we do get a smithing level. When I finally started making my own money, I remember asking my mom if I could become a member. And you know, she paid for it and then I paid her for it. So that part felt pretty good. But what felt even better was that I was so goddamn sick of wearing rune stuff that I stayed up till like 4 a.m. on a school night just to complete this quest. So this feels really good, man. This is Lost City completed, which gives us access to Zanaris as well as Dragon Weaponry. The asshole Mortifer in Fairy Tale Part 1 needs me to get him a Snapdragon, which fucking sucks because my only reasonable way of getting one is doing this agility course and getting 10 tickets. Now, I don't think I've ever participated in this content before, so that actually wasn't that bad. I think we can just go here now and yeah, we can buy a Snapdragon for 10 tickets. I've let my feathers get ruffled over nothing. That really wasn't a big deal. All right, we're towards the end of Fairy Tale Part 1 and not much has happened in between. I did get a few fletching levels just to be able to complete a clue. This is the best part of that quest and that's the ending. So we do get some farming levels. Pretty nice because I haven't done any farming yet. I don't think I'll use this, but I thought this would be funny. Um, some clue content here. <laughs> we start off hot with a steel longsword and a black robe top, okay. Um, moving on to the easy casket. We, you know what? That's actually pretty good. Um, an amulet of magic. I think I can make one, but now I don't have to. Um, moving on to the medium. An Addy plate, some swordfish, and an Addy pickaxe. That is actually pretty good. Here's some stats if you were curious. We are just over 700 total level, and most of this is from quests. I haven't been good about that, so I wanted to make sure I showed that and got everyone caught up. As soon as I learned that you don't actually have to finish Fairy Tale Part 2 to unlock fairy rings, I made that a priority. That feels really good because I hate walking. Shout out to the Shield Over Rav friends chat, as well as the player known as I'm Smoked Out for helping me navigate a quest that I haven't done since middle school and allowing me to get Shield of Barav complete. Back when I was free to play, I remember one of my friends who was a member um, telling me about this quest. Then I went over to his house and he showed me this area. I don't remember why, but I'm pretty sure this quest is a pain in the ass. I guess we'll find out. Little number, bad. Big number, good. All right, so we're out of the pits of hell and into this kind of spooky area. I'm pretty sure there's a jump scare here, right? Yo, Jesus. My God, I knew that was coming. He still got me. All right, the other rooms weren't that bad. The one where you have to find the right one to damage. A little bit frustrating. Here we are at the final boss. And I'm not sure how tough this is. Okay. Wow. Uh, this might take a minute. The boss went pretty smoothly. Not too bad. That's the psychological thriller Soul's Bane completed. Pushing forward, we completed the Lost Tribe. Another quest in the Goblin Saga completed. That's Death to Dorgish Undone. Looks like 33 thieving and 28 ranged. Pretty nice. I'm at the point in the giant dwarf quest where the suits need some assistance. And he needs some clay. I brought that with me. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see what else he needs. Hopefully I have it. Nope, he needs coal. Well, that sucks. I'm gonna have to go get that. Man, I feel like Keldegrim is the most inconvenient city to run through. I didn't actually have to go that far, but it seemed like it took me forever to get to this coal. Oh, what's that? You need more clay? Well, I came prepared, so that feels pretty good. What else you got? I hope this is the last one. Iron. Fuck. Oh, hey there. I'm just doing Iron Man things. I'm gonna grab some more clay in case he needs that too. Turned in the iron, and now the jackass wants silver bars. Unbelievable. When the most runescape thing ever, it turns out you can just keep asking him for a new job as long as you don't accept one. So yeah, I probably should have seen that coming. I'm not super concerned with efficiency, but that could have gone a lot faster. We do get some decent XP and I'm glad to have that one out of the way. We get a mining level, some smithing. Okay, steel war hammers. I do have a couple of steel bars over there. Um, crafting, very nice. What else did I see there? Thieving and fire making. 
Not too bad. These guys are kind of spanking me, not gonna lie. Holy shit. Yeah, mission abort. Mission abort. Yeah, this time I'm prepared, dickhead. Where's your right-hand man, Lefty? Oh yeah, that's right. I already fucking killed him. So even though we made a mess of that, they went ahead and threw us a parade. So that's kind of nice. At any rate, that's another slice of ham completed. And we do get some XP from that. Looks like we'll end up with 40 mining despite not having done much mining. And 35 prayer. Hey guys, I found the Meyer key. We didn't get a parade this time, but we did complete the quest and we got 36 strength. We need a couple Terramen for the Shades of Morton quest. So I figure, why not find an excuse to do some combat? We're going to do a trip of Chaos Druids because we'll definitely get the Terramen and we'll get a few other herbs along the way. We got what we needed and we made a new friend. That feels pretty good. I love the grind of RuneScape. I respect the grind. But the thing I love the most about this game is the nonsensical conversations you have with total strangers and the ones that become your friends along the way. This couldn't be more perfect. I actually need ashes and this guy is training fire making. These shades drove me absolutely fucking crazy, man. All I'm trying to do is finish this quest. Holy shit. That's 37 crafting and 22 herb lore. You thought we were going to do another quest. Nope. To be honest, I need a break. I'm having a ton of fun, even though I don't particularly enjoy quests, but we started Slayer. So this is the start of PVM on this account. I'm super excited for it, and I can't wait to see what the future brings. The Addy Longsword is doing its best job, but it's it's taken forever to kill this cow fight. There he is, finally down, the first kill of the very first Slayer task on this account. I don't necessarily have an ultimate end goal, but all I'm gonna say is, remember this moment when we reach 99 Slayer. Shortly after pumping myself up about Slayer, I realized I can do more than just quests, man. Right? I mean, We've got choices, we've got options. I don't have to use a stupid adamant longsword. At the end of the day, this is a progress series. So I decided to do some agility pyramid to make some cash. We definitely need to upgrade our melee weapon. Well, that's about as much agility pyramid as I can stand for now. And I'm realizing in this moment, this is gonna be the first white cash stack on the account. Yeah, 120K. I was checking out the shops earlier when I was in Keldegrim and I realized that they sell rune longswords here. So I'm gonna snag one of those. Combat stats are a lot different on RuneScape 3, so I'm definitely not an expert, but I feel like this has to help. It definitely isn't gonna make it worse, right? I'm taking a quick moment to appreciate that I'm geared out like the cool kids I used to see back in 07. I didn't know what any of this shit did, but I was like, man, that guy knows exactly what he's doing. By the time I was into combat, you know, Slayer, PBM, any of that stuff, we kind of started approaching the EOC era. So between breaks and then, you know, full on EOC, I never really got to experience this setup. Not that I'm using it right now for that purpose, but I'm pretty sure I didn't even know what prayer bonus did. That's Slayer level 20. And that's the first Slayer task completed. The first of many. I couldn't have made it this far without you guys. I'd like to thank my mom, thank my dog, but most of all, thank you. Make sure to subscribe to see more high risk, high level PVM content like this. Next task is shades. That sounds like it sucks. I am not gonna do that right now. I immediately went to shades because Slayer is fun. I love when numbers go up. Slayer level 21. We did it again. God damn, we're good. That's 40 strength and we can equip rune warhammers. Shades weren't doing it for me, man. We still have to finish that task, but I gotta kill something that drops anything. We're gonna spend a little bit of time at the Hill Giants. That's 41 strength. That's one more than last time. We're still here grabbing 42 strength. Is this a waste of time? Maybe. But did I get two strength levels? You bet. We were close to an attack level, so I went ahead and made the switch. That's 46 attack. This just in from our Berg Durat headquarters. The Myarchy not only needed help being found, but those needy bastards needed some aid as well. It did give us 43 strength and 38 crafting though. So I think I can forgive them. Now that there's a bank nearby, this task doesn't seem nearly as bad. That's 22 Slayer. Damn man, how'd you get so strong? Oh, you know, I just killed some shades. That's 44 strength. I know what you're thinking and I won't make you say it, but the answer is no. I don't use performance enhancing drugs. Shades are stupid and I hate them. Task complete. Our next task is Hill Giants, and I actually don't hate that. I'm not gonna do that right now, but that could have been a lot worse. I felt like I wanted to get back to some quests, and then they asked me to navigate this boat, and holy shit did I fail that so many times. 
Anyway, that's Bone Voyage completed, and that gives us access to Fossil Island, which I think is like Anachronia from RuneScape 3. I'm not so sure. Looking forward to exploring that area. I was originally only going to include footage of this quest upon completion, but I've been trying to talk to this NPC for a solid 10 minutes, and I can't get the conversation in because these fuck- Was it a hard quest? No. But was it a fun quest? Also, no. Did we get 29 Slayer? Absolutely. And with that... Fuck me. What do you do when you need a break from quests and you hate yourself? You train runecrafting. Aiming for 27 as cosmic runes are a little bit of a pain in the ass to get right now. 18 runecrafting? I'll stop saying runecrafting. That's level 19 runecraft. Level 20 runecraft. Level 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 runecraft, and let's make some cosmic runes. You ever spend hours training runecraft to make a specific rune? And then you remember you're a fucking Iron Man and you don't have the talisman to go with it? Yeah, me either. No, I was just asking. And here's where we end up with our stats. Um, so far, I am I think it looks pretty good, to be honest. We definitely have some blemishes on there. You know, construction's ugly, hunter's ugly, but that's stuff that we'll take care of soon. There are a couple quests on the short list that'll help out with farming. Herblore's got to get up as well, and I do want to start taking Slayer a bit more serious. All right, and that's the episode. Man, do we look studly in this full graceful amulet of accuracy combo. All right, outros are awkward, so I'll keep this short. Thanks for watching, and if you watch another video, it'll help save a dolphin. Liar! All right, fine, but I don't see how it could hurt one.